Thank you, Patricia. And um, thank you, other Patricia, for the um, great talk. That was really inspirational. Um, I wanted to um, give a shout out to um, members of the Research Data Alliance um, Exposing Data Management Plans Working Group and invite all of you to um, please join me if you'd like by opening the slides. Um, I've posted a link to you in the chat that you can use to open the slides. If you can't see my share screen, hopefully you can. Um, but feel free to follow along on your own. Um, that'd be awesome. And I welcome your participation um, in this talk. I'll be sharing lots of links. And um, that way we can visit and celebrate a bunch of things DMP, because this is a party after all. Um, let's um, look forward now to um, uh, some things we can celebrate on the um, 10th anniversary of the DMP online tool. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Research Data Alliance Exposing DMPs Working Group. There are over 80 of us representing diverse geographic, professional, and subject areas. Um, I'd like to thank my co-chairs, especially um, our leader, Angus White, from BCC, who I think is here with us today. Um, great to see you online, Angus. I've been missing seeing you in person. Also, Marie, Christine, Fiona, and Catherine from um, Australia, uh, France, and the UK. Um, we are a small but um, mighty group of co-chairs. And we started with a simple premise. Um, that's not such a simple thing to achieve. Um, we set out to find out how stakeholders feel about sharing DMP content, about when is the right time, what content is right for sharing, and who is interested in uh, data management plan content. I'd like to invite you to join me on Menti. Um, go to menti.com and use the code 98 Seven nine seven nine zero. So we're going to go to menti.com code nine eight seven nine seven nine zero. You can pick that up in the chat, or I'm going to paste a little link in there um, that should make it easier. Let's see if that works. Um, Feel free to give that link a try and it should bring you over to Menti or take a, a screen snapshot of the QR code on my screen and that'll blast you over there too. Um, what I'd like to do is um, welcome you um, to uh, the working group and to RDA itself. If you're not familiar with the Research Data Alliance, it's free to join. And there you can meet a number of researchers and stakeholders in uh, research data management um, sharing and best practice from all around the world that you'll find have similar aims um, to your own. So um, please visit um, menti.com and uh, use that code. And let's find out if you're a member. Um, looks like 16 of us are, and um, hopefully some more of us will join. Um, what um, I'm curious about is um, whether you might have seen the Research Data Alliance exposing data management plan recommendations yet. We're going to talk a little about those um, next in uh, my slides. So um, I beg your patience if you've already seen them. If you haven't seen them, I'll give you a little preview and opportunity to give feedback on those recommendations. They're still in um, draft. Um, but before we get there, let's think about um, how do we find out in the first place what people are interested in sharing when it comes to DMPs? For that, our uh, working group, um, took a survey of stakeholders in Research Data Alliance and our um, participating uh, stakeholder partner organizations, including DMP Online Tool. Um, we have an openly shared survey instrument and open data available online. I invite you to visit that after the talk. 
Um, the good news is um, for those stakeholders who responded, hooray, DMP Online brought the most stakeholders to our survey. Um, 249 of our 500 some respondents um, came from DMP Online users and click through via um, a share to DMP Online stakeholders. So that was really fun. Happy birthday, DMP Online. You've got the most engaged stakeholders. Um, our other top partner organizations for the survey came from um, the American and um, US counterpart of DMP Online, the DMP tool, which now have a joint code base you heard about earlier and um, the RDA DMPs um, group that I'm a part of, but also um, our partners in France and Switzerland and all around the world. So um, the responses you see in our survey are truly international. And I think they inform what people are looking at um, when it comes to DMPs. The other thing that's interesting about our survey data is that among those who responded, um, unlike some um, surveys of this kind, um, we have a preponderance of researchers responding. So we get a really strong impression from researchers about their stakeholder interest in DMPs. Um, following researchers, our next most prevalent uh, stakeholder to respond were data managers. Um, following that, those who um, engage with the MPs in their role as peer reviewers, librarians, repository managers, or those who actively develop or create the MP tools. Um, you can visit the results of the um, RDA Exposing Data Management Plans Needs Assessment online. And um, I think that um, that uh, will reward you. Let's take a quick glance at what that looks like. Um, here you can see um, all of the questions and uh, visualization of the data that um, we found out about people's um, familiarity with DMPs, um, when they thought um, DMPs should be exposed and how. Um, so there's a lot of valuable information in that survey. The data and the visualizations are open, so um, please visit. Um, the uh, thing that we were curious about in particular was what people might see as the negative uh, impacts of exposing their DMPs. 46% um, were concerned about exposing sensitive information some were afraid there might be negative perception of any changes or variances between how they shared and what they'd originally said in their DMPs. Others were worried about getting scooped. Um, when we asked about what conditions or guarantees should be considered when deciding to expose data management plans, um, stakeholders were interested in um, being able to make selective disclosure. In other words, um, share certain portions of their DMPs and not others, or share to um, people uh, on an embargo period so that they might share with uh, funders and peer reviewers first or inside their own organizations and then to the general public later. And um, for that, they wanted access control over uh, what parts of their DMPs were shared and with who. Um, let's look at what the positive impacts uh, they saw were. Um, they're mostly interested in the positive impact of improving transparency and being able to see shared DMPs as exemplars um, for creating their own. And um, some stakeholders were interested in seeing shared DMP content so they could better evaluate the cost of data management and do resource planning. Others were interested in using shared DMPs to increase research visibility generally, either for their institutions or their own labs. And among um, developers particularly was um, interest in shared DMP content that would enable interoperability with other systems. Um, 
So I invite you to visit the survey data and um, take a look at the results. I hope it will be informative for you. And it's one of the outputs of the RDA Exposing Data Management Plans Working Group. So thank you to all our stakeholders, particularly DMP online users who um, filled out the survey. Um, your responses were valued and you can visit your responses in aggregate here online. And we welcome the chance to um, interact with you more um, when you see how we've taken your responses and integrated them into the exposing data management plans recommendations. Um, if you haven't visited the recommendations, um, one of the easiest ways to visit them is in my slides, click the link for using this form, and it will take you to um, a page that looks like this. And it will guide you through the recommendations, giving you an opportunity along the way to um, provide your input on each component of the recommendations. So you'll be able to see for each recommendation number uh, an opportunity and a definition to learn more about the recommendation and then to tell us whether it's ready for adoption or needs some rewording. So please visit if you haven't already. Um, you can get there um, using the link I'm copying in the chat. And with that link, you can uh, go to the form yourself and give us a little bit of input about um, how the recommendations will work for you. Um, and we welcome all new members in the Exposing Data Management Plans Working Group. So if you're not a member yet, um, use the link in the chat to please join us. And you'll hear as the recommendations evolve. Um, now let's look at um, the uh, other outcome we have um, related to data management plans to share today. Um, I wanted to share with you um, the uh, results of a report focused on recommendations for research institutions that provides additional guidance for publishers, tool builders, and professional organizations. Um, this report on a implementing effective data practices uh, was co-organized by the Association of Research Libraries, the Association of American Universities, and the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities. We convened experts from the um, library, research, and scientific communities and spent about a day and a half together in a December 2019 workshop. It seems like a million years ago, but it was only 11 months. Um, the funding came from NSF and we got together for two specific reasons. Um, one of those was to um, implement uh, the specific data practices the NSF was interested in related to persistent identifiers or PIDs for data sets and to look at how to create machine readable data management plans or DMPs for funded research projects. After the workshop, we continued to work together through spring 2020 to provide key recommendations for effective data practices to support a more open research ecosystem with an emphasis on FAIR. Um, I invite you to um, visit the report um, online, you can do that at the ARL website using the DOI at the bottom of the slide. Um, it will take you to a page like this, I believe. I'll paste that in the chat. And you can use that link to visit the report on implementing effective data practices, stakeholder recommendations for collaborative research support. These recommendations are primarily geared toward institutions, particularly universities, in helping them support the ecosystem of shared or active DMPs. Um, the other thing I'd like to share with you that um, we are particularly keen about is our stakeholders themselves. Um, our stakeholders uh, generously um, 
gave us pre-conference interviews um, to help us prepare for the workshop. These are stakeholders from scholarly societies, the research communities, our funding agencies, research libraries. Um, they've shared uh, snippets from their interviews out um, on uh, YouTube. And I invite you to um, visit the blog posts that ARL has put up um, as an umbrella for those YouTube snippets. Um, you can visit those at ARL.org um, on the uh, blog category. It will take you to a page like this. And I'll paste a link to that in the chat for you. Um, if you go to that link, what you'll see are um, a series of three uh, blog posts um, talking about why the work matters for PIDs and DMPs and active DMPs. And you'll see interviews from stakeholders like Ben Pearson from Gates Foundation, Clifford Lynch from CNI, Jason Gerson from PCORI, Margaret Levenstein from ICPSR, Dina Paltu from National Library of Medicine. And I think you'll enjoy to hear what they have to say. And the interviews can be accessed on these snippets on our YouTube channel at ARL. Um, they're short, like a minute or two at the most, um, little tiny snippets um, that will help you engage with the perspective of various stakeholders surrounding um, sharing uh, DMPs and using PIDs for data sets in such a way that we can make the content from DMPs more interoperable in university settings, higher education and laboratory research, not just for compliance, but to encourage uh, support for those who have research data sharing mandates and to help others benefit from the shared data in uh, DMPs. So I encourage you to visit it, um, listen to those YouTube interviews. They're a lot of fun. Um, I really appreciate the chance to spend this morning with you. I've learned a ton. Um, so happy birthday, DMP Online. Um, you've uh, created a world of opportunity for us to open up not only how we think about data sharing and benefit from it as researchers, but also to think about how we can build better systems that interoperate against that um, active content in data management plans, um, which really are a window uh, to funded research and to some of the solutions that we need to build a better world together um, through our research projects. So happy birthday. Um, it's been a fun morning with all of you and uh, great to celebrate this anniversary with you. Thanks a bunch.